Welcome CSE 102, 103 class. Just wanted to go over one little practice exercise that we also did in class with Pixlr. And I just went to pixlr.com, P-I-X-L-R, no E in there. And again, I mentioned that you should have Flash plugin running. So if you get messages about allowing Flash or running the plugin, uh, let it do it so it can actually display the web app, the Pixlr web app. You could go to open Pixlr editor, or you could scroll down here and just open the Pixlr Editor, the launch web app. Um, I haven't worked with Pixlr Pro, I guess it's a pay one, or Pixlr X or any of these other ones, but I always use the Pixlr Editor because it's most Photoshop-like. So I'm gonna launch the web app. And I saw a little mark there with, with my plugins and I already allowed my Flash plugin to run. And we're gonna open an image from URL, but I don't have it yet. So to get your image that we practice with in class, I'm gonna make a new tab here and I'm just gonna go to Homa Studio Dot com and I'm going to put a slash and whatever class you're in if you're in CSC 103 put in CSC 103 and then put a slash again because that's going into a folder we're just working on a file called yellow teeth to edit yellow teeth it's just a quick little exercise in Pixlr make sure it's lowercase JPEG three letter extension JPEG all lowercase yellow teeth no dashes anything like that and when you do that it should open up this picture of Drew Barrymore from the web that has yellow teeth um, it's just odd seeing celebrities with yellow teeth because they probably always have their teeth worked on and, and edited and all, all things like that. So we're just going to do a real quick edit of to make the teeth white in, not in Photoshop, but in Pixlr. So this is pretty easy to do. This will be very quick. And again, we're going to copy it from, from the web. And we're just going to right click on this and do copy image address. And then we're going to go back to Pixlr and we're going to open image from URL because URL is the image address. And then again, when you paste here, paste right over it because that's already highlighted. You don't want to click here and do paste because if you do, you'll get an alert that an error occurred and it's because you didn't paste it right. So because you, you double pasted HTTP, so paste right over here or delete this or delete that part and then paste it and then, then you should be okay. So there it is and we're going to zoom into this. You could use this navigator over here to zoom into it just to kind of zoom into her teeth. It's gonna be pixelated because it's not a real high resolution image. Usually images from celebrities are not gonna be high resolution, so it's fairly low resolution. It's very pixelated. If you looked at the colors, if you took an eyedropper and actually clicked on colors here, you'll see it's not really yellow. You can see it's kind of more of a beigey kind of color, which is more of a natural color for, for the teeth. And looking at our HSL, hue saturation lightness, here's RGB. And there's the color there in RGB. It's 252, 231, 204. We'll talk more about that, but you don't really have to do anything there. What we want to do is we want to highlight the teeth, not highlight the teeth, but actually select the pixels that represent the teeth and then just lighten them and kind of cool them down a little bit. They're kind of warm, which makes them look yellowish. So we're going to cool them, kind of make them more bluish, which will uh, cool them and then we'll brighten them up a little bit. So before we do that, we have to select the teeth. We're going to use this lasso tool Two ways to use the lasso tool. One is just draw it freehand, like just drag around it. Now, if you like doing that, that's fine. You just got to be careful because it takes a while and then you, you could screw up, you know, and miss things and stuff like that. It's not the easiest because it takes a little while. And then if you don't have a, have a, you know, your mouse isn't on a good surface and stuff, it'll take a while to kind of go around. But once you get back to the beginning, you should go like that. Now, you could go back and edit parts of this after it's done, but it's kind of hard to do with the lasso. Um, an easier way, and I'm going to get rid of this selection, there's two ways. One is click off with the lasso and with the regular lasso or click off with the marquee tool. There's a marquee tool here with a dotted uh, kind of dotted line rectangle. If you click here and click off, that makes it go away. Another way to make selections go away is to go to edit, deselect all, or use control D. You can do that. Now, another tool I'll show here is using the, the lasso again, except using this polygonal lasso. That means it'll make straight line segments and you have to click to make them. So I'm gonna start here and click, click, and you could use you know, more clicks or less clicks, you know, cause they make straight lines. You, you don't wanna like, you know, go all the way across and cut things out, but I'm just gonna go up here and just go around. I'm just making, making kind of connect the dot kind of clicks as I go around. And once you get back to the beginning, you just click on where you start it and there you have your selection. Now, what I want to do now that I have these pixels selected is uh, first thing I'm going to do is go to, now this is just my method. There's other ways to do this, but my method is go to adjustment. And I usually use a color filter or photo filter in Photoshop, 
but they don't have a photo filter that is exactly like that here in Pixlr, so I use color balance in here, and I just add a little blue. Just, you know, the easiest method. Just go here to the blue offset and just increase a little bit. And if you go too much, it'll get purplish. You're just going to go a little bit. And if you have any issue, you can maybe take away the red or whatever. I mean, you don't want to make it look green or anything like that. You want it to be real subtle. But if it's, you know, if you need a shift either way, you could kind of do that a little bit. But that's okay. And we're still going to lighten it. And I'll hit OK. And that's good for now. You know, if you look at the, the way it was originally, there's a, the way it was. There's the way it is now. We're just going to lighten it a little bit. We don't want to we don't want to blow out any of the any of the detail or highlights. So I'm going to also go to adjustment, and I'm going to go to levels. Now levels it kind of does it, it has shadows, it has highlights and midtones. If you do your midtones, it'll kind of do do all the the mid areas and kind of make it less contrasty in different ways, darker and lighter, and kind of remove the contrast. So I'm not going to really do anything there. Matter of fact, I'll even just cancel that, and I'll just go again. I'll go to adjustment levels. And I'm just going to tweak a little bit the highlights a little bit. Just brighten the highlights a little and just move them over. You can't do too much. If you do too much, it'll look like that and it'll bleach out all the detail. Because you could see, if you look at this histogram, you can see there's pixels on the whole range of the lights and darks. There's lots of darks, there's lots of lights, there's lots of midtones. So there's, there's not really an issue with it, but we're just going to tweak it a little uh, from the end. Just kind of compress it a little and maybe take it to like 240. Probably nothing, nothing more than that. And that's about it. And if, if you find you're losing darks in there, you could go from this side and move in a little. That'll kind of bring back some of those darks. That'll, this darkens the darks. This lightens the lights. And you just got to be careful you don't do too much of it. Don't worry about this too much. This actually does the opposite. It darkens the lights and lightens the darks. It takes away that this thing takes away the contrast, which we, you wouldn't want to do. At least in this case, you wouldn't want to get rid of any of the contrast. So we're not doing anything with the output levels right now. So you could ignore that. So we're just doing this and tweaking it a little because it's, it already has a pretty good balance or pretty good levels of lights, darks, and highlights. Or I should say shadows, midtones, and highlights is what I should really say. So I'll hit OK. And now I can deselect this. And remember, I could just go to Edit, Deselect All. And that takes the selection off. And I could go back and in my history down here and see what it originally looked like and see what it looks like now. It looks a lot better. And I could zoom out so I could take it from 350% and kind of go back out, back to 100% or close to it. And the last thing that you need to do here, and actually that looks pretty good. Last thing you need to do here is just crop it. And you could use the crop tool. We're just going to kind of crop off that little black stripe on the top and just kind of crop off the the wording down at the bottom and just do something like that. You could hit re enter or return to crop it and that's it and this looks pretty good. We're also going to resize it just a little bit just so you know how to resize it. It says 463 by 348. We're going to go to image size and I'm just going to make it 300 because we don't need it that big. I'll just make it 300. Now it'll look smaller in here but that's because it's not at 100 percent. If I put it back at 100 percent that's what it looks like at 100%. We're just going to submit this. So we're going to do a file save, and then we're going to, again, download it to our computer and then upload it as an assignment. We're going to turn it in as an assignment. So, And we're just going to do it through comments, so I'll show you how to do that. So first we're going to save it. And remember, I'm on a Mac right now, so I have a menu up here to do file save. Don't do it there. Make sure you do it here in Pixlr and do file save. And I'll just call it yellow teeth. And you don't have to put .jpg, it'll put it on later once you hit the OK. And you could leave all these settings the same. I'll hit OK. And I'll do it right on the desktop again, because it's just a temporary kind of thing. And it is called Yellow Teeth, and it put a .jpg, at least on a Mac it did that. Windows, it might not show you that, but it it'll, will put that there. So you don't need an E or anything like that. And I'll just hit Save. And that's it. Now, we can close this up now, but I'll just wait and make sure it works OK. And then I'm going to go back here to my CSC 103, and I'm going to go to my assignment for coursework. And even though you're not posting this to your discussion forum, you could go to this under Unit 1 or whatever this is. Go to the Student Intro DB Post Pick. That's the assignment where we did a little practice for this. And if you click on that assignment, even if it's not open, you can go here. And all that we're going to do, we don't have to do upload or any of that kind of stuff. We're just going to go add a comment. And I'm going to add a comment. We're not actually going to put a comment in here. We're just going to insert image. And we're just going to go find that image and click on this little source 
kind of button there. And again, ignore Moxie Manager. Just go to Upload. Go find it on your computer. There it is. And it says it's already there. Do you want to overwrite? I'll just hit overwrite because it's it's overwrite because it's in Moxie Manager, like a temporary. This is like a temporary holding place. And then I'll hit Insert, and I'll hit OK. I don't have to put anything else. And that's it. You just click off it, and that's the way it looks. And that's a good size to be in there. It's not too big, the 300. So there it is. And then when I go to your exercise, I'll know that you did the practice exercise. I could look at the teeth and know that you edit the teeth OK. So that's all you had to do. There's obviously lots more that we can do in Pixlr, but that's just a quick little introduction of doing it where we can just upload a picture to a a comment. We can also upload the file as a regular assignment as an upload, but that's a little more work. So this is kind of easy for something like that. So that's about it.